Hello everyone. On behalf of Indian Institute of Food Processing Technology and the Ministry of Food Processing Industries, I welcome you all for video demonstration session of Custard Apple RTS under capacity building component of PM FME scheme. Custard apple is a delicious and commercially important fruit crop with pleasant flavor, mild aroma, sweet taste, good nutritional and medicinal values. The fruit is popular for its sweet and slightly tangy, creamy texture flesh. Custard apple is a tropical fruit grown mainly in tropical climate. It is also known as sitafal. It is found widely and cultivated throughout India and growing widely in the hilly tracks and wastelands. It is rich in vitamin C which help boost immunity and collagen production as well. It also contains good amount of dietary fiber and almost no fats. Ripe fruits can be stored only for 1 to 2 days without decay. Rapid softening of fruits after harvest, especially during transportation and marketing is a major ongoing problem. In order to overcome this problem, the processing is required. A number of value-added products like ready-to-eat served beverages, ice cream, squash and toffees can be prepared to avail the nutritional potential and adding a new flavor or taste to the market. In this video, we'll show you how to make RTS from custard apple step by step. RTS is a type of fruit beverage is not diluted before serving. Hence, it is known as ready to serve. Equipment required Principal equipment Fruit pulper Homogenizer SS steam jacket Kettle mixing tank Bottle filling machine Bottle washing machine Crown caulking machine Auxiliary equipment Boiler Working table Weighing scales Handling vessels Knives and trolleys Selection of fruits The well matured and ripened custard apple fruit should be taken for processing Washing Wash the fruits with chlorinated water and then with tap water to remove dirt Pulping or juice extraction Extraction of pulp is a major constraint in the processing of custard apple fruit. Development of enzymatic browning within an hour of pulp extraction occurs. Semi and fully automatic machines are available in the market for separating the pulp, seed and peels from the custard apple fruits. For pulp extraction, the custard apple fruit is crushed in an equal quantity of water and passed through a pulper to remove seed and peel. The pulp can be heated up to 80 degrees centigrade for softening after extraction. Mixing For every 1000 liter of pulp, we need 450 kg sugar, 2.3 kg citric acid, 5200 liters water and 1 kg preservative. Prepare sugar syrup by mixing sugar and a water jacketed mixing tank. Then mix with fruit pulp and add citric acid, coloring and flavoring agent, acidity regulator, antioxidant into the mixture. As per FSSAI specification for RTS, juice or pulp contained should not be less than 10%. TSS not be less than 10%. Synthetic sweetening agent is not permitted. Color and flavor not approved. Artificial color and flavor should be used and mentioned on the label and acidity not more than 3.5%. Homogenization. Homogenize the mixture in homogenizer to prepare a uniform blend of pulp. In this process, the pulp undergoes mechanical stress and an increase in temperature. Pasteurization This mixture is pasteurized to remove any microbial growth. Pasteurization must be done at about 90 degrees centigrade for 25 minutes. Mixing of preservative The pasteurized RTS beverages is cooled down to 70 degrees centigrade and then Preservative is added with thorough stirring. 
RTA strain can be preserved by adding 70 ppm SO2 or 120 ppm benzoic acid. Bottling Fill in the previously sterilized glass bottles while still hot. Crown cork the bottle and process in boiling water for 20 to 25 minutes. Cooling and storage Now cool down the bottles up to normal temperature. The RTS beverages stored at ambient temperature has a shelf life of 180 days with the addition of preservative. Till now we have seen the demonstration of custard apple RTS processing in PMFME scheme under Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. The Ministry of Food Processing Industries in partnership with state and union territories government has launched an All India centrally sponsored Prime Minister formalization of micro food processing enterprises scheme for providing financial, technical and business support for upgradation of existing micro food processing enterprises. For more details, please visit our web links given here.